Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Brendan and welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, it is great to have you. And today we're going to be taking a look at Ethereum because the Ethereum chart is looking clean, it's looking consistent, and it's quite possibly looking very bullish. Now, if any of that sounds interesting, make sure you guys stick around for the entire duration of the video as there will be important information discussed the entire way through. But with that being said, let's go ahead and dive on into this guy because as we can see from this yearly high all the way down to this local low, Ethereum dropped about 37%, which is you know quite the drop, but it's not unforeseen, especially in the world of cryptocurrency. But what we can see that quite clearly since then, Ethereum has started to bounce. And what I've done is I've really drawn up on this four hour chart, the resistance and the support of what Ethereum has been bouncing and rejecting off of. Now, if you guys have any kind of an eye for technical analysis and how this works, this is quite clearly a parallel rising channel to the upside. I mean, the, the support is very clear and the resistance is very clear. Resistance has one, two, and three touches on the, uh, on the top side. And then of course, support has multiple touches here and even three three separate swing low touches, you know, depending on if you count this guy. So with Ethereum really showing that there is a range that it is consistently bouncing, you know, up and down through, this could be a signal that something bigger is coming. Now, there's always two ways to look at this. You can see this as a bear pull with a bear flag scenario. Now, I think we're starting to get to the point where if this is truly a bear flag, it is going to have to reject soon. Otherwise, you risk the, the flag becoming the size of the pull. And quite clearly, that wouldn't be any kind of a bull pull bull flag scenario if the flag is the size of the pull. Um, and now, I think the number one area that Ethereum has to watch out for here is kind of this area of right around $380, because what you have is you have this previous range where Ethereum was using support and it can now act as resistance. In fact, I think if Ethereum can get above this level, and get over this like little $400 hump over here, Ethereum will be in a very good spot because what this will mean is that we will have been reverse this death cross that we have seen on the four hour time scale of Ethereum and we will have really formed a golden cross. So we're gonna be getting above, you know, not only a major resistance level for Ethereum, but we're also gonna be getting right through and getting rid of this death cross and forming a death cross. Now, obviously the one day still has that golden cross on Ethereum. And if we can form that back on the four hour, I think that this will be a good sign that this is quite possibly a buy the dip opportunity on Ethereum instead of one of those sell the rips. Now, this was a little bit of a scary drop because of the way that it happened, but with the way that we're bouncing right now, it quite clearly has the potential to you know, show some significant signs of bullishness if it can break through some of these levels. I mean, we've already broken through the 382, and right now we're struggling to kind of just hold over this area of the 200 EMA. But as of right now, we have consistently higher swing highs, uh, higher swing lows. So this is no, this is really not kind of a uh, a horrible spot for Ethereum to be in. Now we do have the Fib retracement chart over here. Clearly, we can see that the 382 and the 200 EMA was being used as resistance. The fact that we have able, been able to break through that twice since then is another good sign because what we're saying is, you know, as resistance is. Um, you know, as we are breaking through resistance, it is becoming less and less significant. And a lot of the strong resistance that we had to get through, we have already started to break through or in the least test it. Now, obviously the last level of heavy resistance is going to be the 618 Fib retracement and the top of this parallel channel. I think that if we can break through that, I think that we'll have a good shot at breaking through the 618. The 618 is also going to be at this previous support area right in here, which is now gonna be turn resistance as well. So if I'm talking price targets for Ethereum, to the upside, I'm looking at about $400. And then after $400, I'm looking at about 420. After 420, I think Ethereum's in a really good spot to test a new yearly high. Now, if this guy wants to break down towards the downside, I think it's in a little bit of a dangerous area because, um, you know, if this doesn't hold the $300 area, I think it's very well that or not even the $300 area. I would say that if it doesn't hold uh, 350, 360, it's gonna fall pretty fast to about 330. And if it doesn't hold that, it has a little bit of support about 310. And after 310, this guy doesn't have support until 300. And then after 300, it gets even uglier as it goes down to 250. Now, do I think that we will test those levels? I'm not sure, I don't think so. I think that while Ethereum is in a very good spot to succeed in where it's at right now, uh, you know, obviously anything can happen in the world of cryptocurrency, as I'm sure we're all aware of. Um, if we can see coins named after food products and coins named after animals do 100x in a month, then, you know, it wouldn't be anything crazy to see Ethereum drop 10, 20% in a week. Uh, but 
With that being said, guys, I do want to take a quick look at some of these indicators and oscillators. Actually, I actually haven't looked at these guys in a hot minute, but there's really not much happening over here on the four hour at all. Um, both of these are actually sitting very incredibly neutral. It's almost scary how neutral did that those two are setting. Volume was doing decent yesterday in the last two days here, um, but you know since then has fallen off just a tad. I do want to quick take a quick look at this on the four hour, but um, you know again there's nothing too significant again. But I think you know really if Ethereum can hold over this major resistance area that it's that it is you know trying to conquer and from the looks of this daily chart it looks like it's bouncing off of it and it's also broken above the 50 ema on this one day time scale which is a good you know definitely a good thing to see over here a lot of the bearish momentum has been breaking up but both the macd and the rsi on the four hour and on the one day chart are sitting very neutral there's no kind of heavy momentum over here i do see that daily volume is falling off and it's below kind of like our equilibrium threshold uh which is what this uh orange line rep kind of represents um you know obviously you like to see volume below or above this and when it is below this it, it is in my opinion subpar of what i would anticipate or uh, aspire for it to be but you know that's still not a bad sign it's still a decent amount of volume over here and i mean that's pretty much it for ethereum you know again i think the kind of the name of the game here is that ethereum is in a very you know potentially a very very good spot for it to go on a nice little bit of a rip here because again i don't really see any kind of crazy resistance here for another and let's go ahead and measure this out i mean from right where it's at right now i think it could easily have another seven then another 11 or 12 and then after that you know maybe even another 20 to 30 percent to the upside before it gets into any kind of too significant of a resistance level and if this is able to break the yearly highs i think that that's where it's truly going to go on like a ripening um again that's kind of just theory as right now it's not at that location but uh, i hope you guys did enjoy the video if you guys did make sure to drop a like and a comment i love talking to you guys in the comment section down below and getting to hear your guys thoughts about what this market is doing because it is so versatile and volatile which i think is why so much of us love it but if you guys really did enjoy the video hit that subscribe button share it with a friend and until next time i will see you guys in the next video